Hi everybody, Carl and Samuel here. Let's talk about air conditioning systems. So standard in the escape trailer, just like they have on this 17 over here. So there is no air conditioning. We have a max fan and we have a vent. Thank you, Harrison. Okay, so then we have two options for air conditioning. First option is 11,500 BTU from Dometic. And the second option is a Coleman MAC-10 NDQ, which is 13,500 BTU. So obviously one just has a little bit more power than the other. Generally, the 11,500 BTU is sufficient for all of our trailers. However, we had some folks in Texas, in some really, really warm states, especially yeah. in the middle of summer, who, uh, who wanted just a little bit more. And that's kind of what drove us to the 13,500 BTU. But if we look at these trailers behind us, we can see on the 19, over here, it's, um, it's a Dometic, and the Dometic is a two-tone, black on the bottom, white on top. And then when we look at our 21 Classic, this 21 Classic has a Coleman on it, and the Coleman comes in black and white. Now, this is a very recently released product, and in the very beginning, we got a couple of samples in white, and I believe they're changing that color to a slightly different white. Um, and then they've been delivering us these black units. Now, at first for us, when we saw the black unit, the all black unit, plus the height and the, the sort of profile difference that it has, um, it was a little bit of a shock to us. But I must admit, over time, it really starts to blend in nicely with the, with the windows and the other black features that are on the, on the trailer. And of course, point being that the Medic is two-tone. It's black on the bottom and, and white on top. Now, going forwards into the future, we're ordering white um, for the Coleman Mac, Mac 10 NDQ. And there we hope they're expected to arrive in late March. But with the supply chain challenges, plus the new product introduction on, on this unit, currently we're only getting black. So I think for customers, the option here is, you know, you'll take it and uh, we kind of take what we can get, principally for the function of this unit, the 13,500 BTU plus it is quieter. Mm -hmm than the, the medic, and we're going to have a look at that a little bit later in this video. So I think we take it as it is, and if they just can't stand to look at look at the color, yeah. be, it, be it black, then there is the aftermarket solution to go and buy a white trout, or maybe we get a swap and shop going with uh, with customers on the, on the Facebook pages or the forums that are out there, so you can sort of swap see with somebody else for a different color yes. and go that way. So I think those are the options we have. So tell us, um, there was some technical mm -hmm. stuff you want to give us a heads up on. So Carl mentioned the height difference. We measured this out and it's actually only about an inch higher. So your Coleman Mac 10 is about one inch higher, fully installed compared to the Dometic fully installed. So a little bit of a height difference probably won't matter for most customers, but if you are just about there in terms of garage height, mm and this is a, a little too high, then you may want to consider um, the Dometic. So we will go over. And before, but before we go controls, yeah. so yes. there's a slight controls difference between the two yeah. units. Right, so if you're ordering a Dometic and we install the Dometic air conditioning for you, then you will have a, I'll call it like an electronic or touch screen thermostat. And that thermostat will control both your Dometic air conditioning as well as your furnace. If you go for the Coleman, we will have a manual dial for your furnace. And the Coleman can be operated either on the ceiling unit itself or with your phone using Bluetooth. And we will show you in just a moment how that works. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention is yeah. that inside, they're both white. That's right. <laughs> so it's yeah. just, the, just the outside that can be can be different colors. Okay, let's push ahead. Let's jump inside these trailers and just give you a sense of what the noise sounds like and really what these units look like. Okay, hi everyone, we're here. This is the Coma Mac 10 NDQ with Bluetooth controls. And this is the first time we're gonna work on, on actually setting this up. And this is my first time connecting this. Now, in order to do this, you will need to download the RV Climate app from um, the Play Store or um, what's that thing they use on Apple? Apple Store. <laughs> yeah, I'm an Android guy. So from the Apple Store. So I've got mine kind of set up and I need to add a new thermostat. So let me see which, which process I'll go here first. Um, 
The first process is the up and down button that we have on the controls. We press and hold these until we get to pairing mode and it will show me the ID hopefully. There we go. So now it's giving me the ID 443269. 443269. So I'll come in and add my, my new thermostat, pair my new thermostat. And oh, Bluetooth pairing request, okay. 443269. 443269, okay. And there we go. It looks like I'm paired. Paired up with this, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what's next. So I can adjust the settings, it looks like, from here as well. And then, sorry Harrison. There you go. Oh, okay. So I can set it. So this might turn the air conditioning on, although we're pretty cool in here. Fan, low, fan high. Cool, low, cool, high. Okay, why don't I set the fan on? Oh, it worked. That's pretty quick. <laughs> that's great. So that's the fan on low. Honey, set the fan to high. Well, that's the fan on high. Let me go back and try this again. So I think that's backwards. All right, that's a fan on high. Fan on low. So, it's a little bit backwards, but we get an idea, the fan on low and the fan on high. So this is low speed. It's really quite, really quite quiet, right? Really quite quiet. And we'll flip it back again to the other one. Want me to change my settings? <laughs> I got some cold air coming. Yeah, okay, so that works, Harrison. Okay, so low and high seem to be reversed in the controls here, but we kind of get the idea on this one. Okay, good. So that's that sound here. And Harrison, I'm going to turn off this recording. Let's take this and put it on the bed. The person closest to it in the bed. And this is on high. Okay. Now let's take this and put it down by the dinette with Samuel. Samuel as though it was at your, at your seated height, at your ear. <laughs> we talked about the manual dial for the furnace. So this is how it looks. This will operate your furnace hot and cold. And uh, Carl and I, we were just testing. This unit here has the heat strip in. Now the heat strip is an option on both Dometic and the Coleman. And the heat strip, we were talking about the main benefit of that mm, one. Mm. Uh, we feel this is a great uh, option if you are, you know, if you're on power and you want to save your propane because that will heat your unit plus it doesn't produce wet heat. That's right. So with your with your electric heat coming from here, there's no additional moisture coming into the trailer. So we'll, you mean, we'll notice, right, when it's, if it's very cold outside, everything yeah. wants to condense on the inside of any cold surface that there, that there is. And your cabinetry, your inside of your cabinetry can also be, be cold enough below the dew point that mm -hmm. it will condense. So 
Um, the heat strip is a nice little addition just to get that little boost of heat. Obviously, the fan has to be on yes. for it to work. And um, yeah, it's not producing any moisture. Yeah, and we tried it out. It's, uh, it, it works, it really, works well. really well. <laughs> um, by the way, we talked about the Bluetooth capability. Now, you can operate this unit here just on, on the device itself. So on the unit itself, you have little buttons here that you can operate your cooling. And if you have the heat strip, you can use that as well. A little hard to see here, but basically you've got all the functions right here. Cool, low and high, auto, and there's the heat strip as well. So it can all be operated here. You don't have to use your phone for that. Okay, and it's come on low speed. Yeah. And let's pretend like we're right in the kitchen underneath the unit. And it's up around the ear of a six foot three person. And we could take it and put it down a bit lower as well. And that's what it sounds like when the door opens. <laughs> Okay, good. We move off of this one. The guys yeah. want to get this one ready to ship out. We're going over to the Dometic now. Looking at the Dometic unit on the inside of the trailer. So a slightly different look to the unit inside the trailer. Obviously it doesn't have a, a controller in place here like the like the Coleman Mac 10 does. So when we install a Dometic through the production line, then we will also install the digital thermostat. And the digital thermostat looks like this and because both the furnace and the air conditioner in this case are are dometic the digital thermostat will do both now i have this already set up and ready to go so we're going to turn this on to low speed just make sure i get this right so we can start to hear what it sounds like and this will kick in here in a sec So this is the Dometic on low speed. I mean, I can already tell that this is a louder unit. I think the airflow is higher velocity. That's why we've got this, this sort of higher noise. It's a higher pitch the sort of noise or higher frequency noise. So let's see what it sounds like when we're in the bedroom. Okay, so this will be us in the bedroom. So the person who's closest to it on low speed. Now let's turn it up to high speed and see what the difference is. Okay, it'll shut itself off and then it'll start up again. And there's your high speed. Now if you like a white noise to help you sleep, it's perfect. Anybody who sleeps with a, a white noise generator. So this is us with high speed, so this will be the loudest in the bedroom, lying in the bed. This is what it would sound like if I was at the kitchen. And I also have the vent fan on at the same time. Okay, now let's move it down to Samuel, who will sit at the dinette. And now we have the sound of the dinette with Samuel. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, point to note. Let me take this over here. So, point to note with the with the with the, uh, with the air conditioning units. The 17 is the only unit that cannot take the 13,500 BTU Coleman unit. And really, it's overkill anyway for the 17. So, the only reason that a person might want to have that unit in a 17 would specifically be for noise because really the 13,500 BTU is overkill for a 17. Uh, regardless so anything else Samuel wanted to point out on these if you mentioned that it does come with a digital thermostat for both the furnace and the air conditioning mm. now if you happen to have um, the Dometic installed after the unit is ready yeah post-production option post-production right then we can still install a Dometic um, but you will have a manual dial that's right and your furnace will also have a manual dial. Yeah. So that's the difference. Yeah, there. so you would manually control that's right. both. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, Samuel. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching and let us know if you have any questions. Hopefully this helps you make 
the decision or the right decision for yourself. So one last little tidbit of information here. The Coleman Mac 10 NDQ also comes with a soft start capability. And that soft start capability enables you to run or power this with a generator. So we recommend a, a minimum 2200 watt generator to run your air conditioner and it will have to be ordered with a soft start in order to be able to do that. And that's it.